everyone. We're going to show you how to use Google Drive for desktop today. We're going to walk you through how to install it, how to make some changes in the Google Drive for desktop on your computer, and we're going to talk about why you want to do that in the first place. So let's talk about why you want to do that. First, when you have your files that are Microsoft files inside Google Drive, when you open them, they sometimes don't have those same features to let you edit them or especially in a Word document, the formatting may not be quite right. So you still want to sync all of those files to the cloud to save them, but you want to open them with your Microsoft apps, such as Word or Excel or PowerPoint. So this is the reason why you want to do this. This will give you a download, a syncing download onto your computer where it is stored there as well, and you, then you can open up the files with your Microsoft apps. So to do this, you want to go to Google Drive. You want to make sure that you are signed in. And then over here in the top right hand corner, you have settings and you're going to click on that little cog wheel. And then you'll go right here to get drive for desktop and you'll click on that. Now that will take you to a support page in Google and you just want to go down here where it says download and install Google Drive for desktop and click on it. And then if you are on a Windows machine, then you click on Download for Windows. If you're on a Mac, you do the download for the Mac. So I have already installed Google Drive for Desktop. And if you're a Fayette County employee like I am, you can go to the Software Center and install it there. So now after the installation, let's talk about where it goes. You're going to open up Windows File Explorer down here. And we're all used to seeing this. When you have downloaded Google Drive for Desktop, it's going to show up right here. And it's going to say Google Drive and give you a letter for whatever uh, drive it's on. So um, this is I. Uh, sometimes it's J, depending on what computer I'm on. But what I want to do is click on that. And I have the two drives that I have inside my Google Drive right here. I have my drive, which is my personal stuff. I also have a link to my shared drives. Now what I want to do is take these two links and put them over here for quick access. So to do that, I just want to do a right click on each one of them and I want to say pin to quick access. And now they showed up over here, my drive, and then I'm going to do the same thing with shared drives. Open it up, then pin to quick access. So now those are right there and they're easy for me to find. And I can move these up and down however I like to make them fit a little bit better with my workflow that I have over here on the left hand side. Now I'm going to click inside my drive here and when you first do this you'll start seeing files just kind of populate and sync and so forth. But what you'll initially see is that all of these are these little clouds and you may not see that very well but there's a cloud here and then up here there's like a, a green check mark. And what that means is that initially all these files are really just links back to the cloud. Okay, They're not stored on your machine, but they're links. But what I want is I want certain folders to have storage on my computer so that I can open them up with Word and with Excel and with PowerPoint. And I can do that without having to have any kind of web access or internet access. So to do this, all you have to do is just go to the folder and I'm going to go to this one right here called Creator Studio and you do a right click on top of it and then go down to where it says Offline Access. You're going to see that little Google Drive icon and look for I Offline Access and right now it is off online only so I have to be connected to the internet to open those. Now what I want to do is click on Available Offline. And when I do that, all of this is going to start to be downloading to my local drive on my machine. And now I can access that easily. Now let's go over here to Beaumont. And this is just a folder that I have with a bunch of stuff in it. And I'm going to scroll down and notice all of these, since that one folder had a green check mark, then everything inside it is actually downloaded to my computer. Now I'm going to show you something down here at the bottom. The file that I have it's called smoothies. I thought that'd be a nice one to open up and think about. You can see that I have Microsoft Word documents here. I also have Google Slides that are syncing 
and I'll also have Google Docs. Now notice when I open up a Google file, let's open up this one right here. When it asks me to do that, it actually goes to my Google Drive and it opens it up for me there. Okay, so it takes me to the, to the Chrome browser that I have open and it opens up that form there because it knows it's a Google Doc. So I'm going to close that real quick. Now look what happens when I open up a Word document. I'll click on this one. It's a Word document. These are opening up on my other screen, so I'll just drag them over. So here you can see that when I open that, it actually opened it up inside Microsoft Word. And so now I can edit it. So just keep that in mind that if when you open these files, if they're a Microsoft file, they're going to open up with Microsoft. Okay. If they are a Google file, they are going to go to the web and try to open it there because it's going to be active and let you edit inside your Google Chrome browser. And that is how you use Google Drive for desktop.